Hello everybody and welcome back to Arcangelus Gaming. Arcangelus here bringing you some more Space Engineers and Never Surrender. Guys, how are you? Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, tap that notification bell and leave us that nice comment below. Guys, we're at 141 subscribers as of this morning. Uh, thank you all for all your support, your love, all the nice comments you've been giving. Thank you for everything you are you are doing to support this channel yeah let's keep it up let's get these subscription numbers up yeah so that I can help you alright as you see guys I am on the top of the building that I made the one which has got the med, med center at the bottom I've actually included a few mods, more mods. I will uh, put them in the description below. Um, so I took a cue from our uh, recent endeavours in Lost Colony. Uh, I am going to put like a large uh, display panel here. Um, where am I? Control 5. Um, where's it gone? Uh, no, not that one. Sci-fi panels. There we go. Uh, there's a 5x3. I believe. We go nicely there. With a nice big banner on it of some kind. Not sure what yet. But there we go. Okay. To the mod. Now, I'm missing a panel in here at the moment. I realise that. But as you can see, I've got what looks to be the passageway so you know you guys all know the passageway uh, from vanilla uh, where am I sorry guys I'm a little bit of a mess I've been out shopping this morning I have not got myself organized I am an absolute wreck you know how it is you go out shopping and you can't remember even your own name half the time all right passage one you guys remember this one. Yeah, vanilla stock. Some guy on the net, absolutely brilliant guy, has included a ton of work, including uh, these um, two strut, one strut combos with a ceiling, uh, with lighting, that is, uh, staircases, corners, and it just looks epic. And coming here, we've got our modded uh, cryopod. You got our med bay. Yep, looks epic. Need some banners and things around the place. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that eventually. That's just like cosmetic work. Um, I'll do in my own time. Bit like in our canteen. Tons of banners everywhere. Two very large windows looking out. You know, well, if it was daylight, onto the mountain ranges. You got a hollow projector with my. Um, my dropship and my ARM2 got a bed with a seat in the right I saw a vid on YouTube about uh, destroyers and uh, cosmetic insides and things like that I just thought as I'm the only one living on this planet I thought yeah hey this look good you got like a, a, a red cow you know Martian cow rug if you will something like that um, we got a uh, you know, I think I've shown you the guys this before. You know, the cooking area, the uh, bar area. And if we go upstairs again, bouncing off the walls as we go, we come to the top where we started off. If I close this up, we have our antenna array on the top. I am thinking about doing something up here, maybe a little bit of a garden area, maybe use some of the, um, uh, the oxygen generators. Um, you know, the, 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 what do you call it, the hydroponic base, that sort of thing. Um, maybe trim it with some of the, um, like the office plants sort of area. Now, what I was thinking for today, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm, I'm not going to do this in the dark. It's a pain in, in every cavity in existence. So I'm going to, I'm going to adjust it by, say, about 18 and a half hours. So we can... We, you know, sun's just coming up. Really shouldn't be doing that in a survival game. But frankly, guys, you know, 
we've got a lot to do if we're going to get into space. And if I just if I just do everything that I want to do, we're never going to get into space, are we? All right, it looks like we need a load more. Actually, that's a good point. How are we doing on iron? I haven't checked our iron reserves in a while. Wow, is that all we got left? 83k. Okay. So it looks like I might have to take... Uh, do you remember we had an iron deposit somewhere over this way with our old mine entrance? I might have to go back up that way at some point and uh, pay it a bit of a visit. Oh, as you saw, the doors close on the on the other side. Again, another mod that I've got... Um, I've downloaded. But yeah, what I'm going to do for now, undock that. Should have sorted all that out first. <laughs> okay. Right, we've got this large area here. Whoops. Sorry. Come back down again. Yeah, my lights are on. It's just because it's raining. Why did it choose to rain now? And we've got this large area here that we can use as like a building area for like a, a dropship. I'll just sort of point this out to you guys again, you know, in case you missed it in one of my previous apps. But, Control G brings up a ship build menu. Now, as long as you've got the components in your personal inventory, you can place down blocks as if you're in your, you know, just running around in your normal astronaut form. But frankly, the only reason I want to add a few more blocks around here is I need some way to be getting around the back, to be honest with you. And then what we'll do is we'll just join that like that. I think I showed you guys a couple of vids ago for the um, Never Surrender campaign, uh, my uh, Locust welding system in in play. Yeah, you know, but yeah, it's quite cool seeing an office. I mean, it'd be nice to see other people playing with me, but you know, I don't have that luxury. I'm not that popular. Oh. I mean, as is true by my subscription numbers, only 141 of you have subscribed so far. Anyway. I'll leave that like that for now because we need some of this steel plate for what we're about to do but you know it gives you an idea of what you can do so uh, tell you what let's leave this on charge as a separate entity so control G uh, where's that docking port There we go. So a little bit more level. He says. Still not looking level. But let's hook at this let's hook at the locust up here. There we go. Okay. So we got all that in place. We've got Quite a base going on here. A lot of things happening. It's a long shot away from when we started. It was just a measly little series of blocks. Now it looks like a substantial base. Okay. Oh. Where are you?
Yeah, I still haven't got around to that magnesium deposit yet. Right. Okay. Let's clear the decks. Okay, let's start building our atmospheric because... Trans-atmospheric, sorry. Because we've really got to get ourselves into space. You know, like this century. So. What are we going to need? We are going to need... Um, battery. We're going to need some paneling. Controllers, cockpit, gyroscopes. Oh, uh, what should we go for? The them or them? Yeah, we'll go with it. Yeah, we'll go with the stem. We're back in the sci fi atmospheric, so we've got something to help us when we're in. in the um, atmosphere. Uh, da, da. Probably need a cargo pod. Survival kit might help. Right. O2H2, oxygen and hydrogen. I've run out of slots, that's why. Oops. Um. Evans we won't need because that would be done by the cockpit. When we're in space, we can build ourselves something bigger, I suppose. Um. Just trying to think of all the all the potential possibilities. Now, where are pistons disappeared to? There they are. I think that'd be everything that we will ever need. All right. So let's start with the usual: the dropping of the landing gear. Wow. That actually landed rather well. I'm impressed. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I usually start for ten off the deck. Gives me a good. Okay. Five. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. Right. That gives us our baseline. You know, our spine, if you will. Right. Our oh, construction comps to build a fire cockpit. Okay. Uh, up and over. No, I've got a better idea. Where is that O2H2 gen? Is it that one? Yeah. So if we place that there... Then place the cockpit on there. Um. 
Um, right. So we want the oxygen tank. Oh, don't want a small one. I always seem to manage to somehow do that. Okay. I know it's unorthodox, but we're going to throw on a hydrogen tank on here we need to get it in the right place um, and then after this Right, so we've got a load of batteries on the end of there. So, cockpit O2H2. We've got oxygen tank, hydrogen tank, batteries. So... Was that low? I think those are low. I want to get the atmospherics on first and then once they're in place um, we can then we can then deal with the hydrogen engines after that because getting this thing to be able to fly in the in the atmosphere um, is our primary concern. After after that, getting it spaceborne. Now, like I said to you earlier, I may um, be running out of certain materials. So I may have to uh, find a way of being able to supplement. Alright, so those are the main jets sorted out. 
So what we need now is to be able to manoeuvre. Okay, move those engines back one. An idea if I do it like this. So if I go eight, dump that there, large. Oh, I need something else for it to hook on to. Um, So let's just add in a series of light armoured blocks. There we go. So by the time this thing's done, it's going to be able to oops, be able to go from zero to hundred in just like that. All right, so we've got right, left, up, down, forward. We don't yet have reversing thrusters. Okay. All right, so we've got the baseline finished. We just need to now weld her up. Okay, we'll start with the the main structure. I like how the mod instantly kicked in. It's opened the cockpit up for us. That's nice. Real nice touch. Okay, what we got left? Quite a bit. Hey. Still showing the fighter. Weird.
Honestly, guys, I've been wanting to build this this girl up for ages. I just been so worried that I'm probably going to do the wrong thing. You know the you know thinking, oh, you know maybe these guys want to see a base being built up or something like that. But I thought, hold on, this is never surrender. And that'll be the fun going. Back in a minute. Okay. Now, from what I can tell here, you need to get rid of that and go through this inch by inch. So we now got one battery that needs one power cell. Oh, come on. Alright. Oxygen tank's done. H2's done. Cockpit's done. Okay. I think the next one is the one that needs one power cell. Next component, sorry, to um, build up will be our large engines. Once we've done that, we'll get round to the small ones. Just heal up a bit, grab a bit of, well, everything. Yeah, I'm using the survival kit in here rather than running across to the apartment. Off camera, I'll probably do the longer route, but... Right. Oops. Hit the wrong one. Right. Uh, do these use computers? No, they don't. So I can take those out of my inventory. That's two engines done. I mean, this is sort of what I was meaning, actually, you know, about building the base up a bit more. I really wanted to get, like, a... Uh, a printing area done so the building this stuff would be a lot lot easier um, yeah but we'll do what we can with what we got for now can we draw 84 motors okay I think I'm out of motors All components successfully redraw. Alright, weird. That ain't all, mo all components successfully withdrawn. Well, that might be because some of them are in some of these other parts.
Okay. Sorry, I'm literally bouncing off the walls because I know I'm under a time constraint. Uh, just looking at the time, I've got only a few more minutes. Just to finish off at least this baseline. And then... What I'll do... Is... Uh, I'll add in some landing gear and a few solar panels just so that she can be charging uh, between now and next episode and hopefully when you guys come back again um, you know she'll be ready to ready to fly or at least test fly and then we can See where we go from there. Get to the easy to access ones first. Ah, right, there you have it. All directions, atmospheric thrusters. We've got. Um, O2H2, ox sorry, O2H2, oxygen, hydrogen, three batteries, a cockpit. Man, she looks like she could do light speed. Fuel low. Oh, better get near ground myself. So, like I say, I'll add in a few landing gear in probably some of the more critical areas. Um. We'll land her, let her charge uh, between now and next episode, and um, from there we'll add in the hydrogen systems and make make ourselves a transatmospheric flyer. So join me next time on our Kansas Gaming. Remember, be happy. Remember to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time on our Kansas Gaming.